What's up, everyone? I am Alicia Renee. And I'm Dax Holt. This is Pod Sauce, your number one podcast discovery show. We are out here helping all of you discover new podcasts. There's 3 million podcasts yeah. out there. So many, 50 million episodes. Too so much. much to listen to. So Ain't much to go time. through. Exactly. So let us do the work for you and deliver it straight to you. You are most welcome. <laughs> No, I mean, seriously, though, it feels good. Uh, it's so funny. I used to say the cliff note were the cliff notes of the podcast space, but that didn't accurately uh, encapsulate like what we do here, exactly. having the creators on here who create the podcast. And the thing is, what I've realized is there's so many good podcasts out there that people have never discovered. Right. We've all heard of Smartless. We've all heard of mm -hmm. these big ones. But there's so many that we are discovering That's that are smaller it. ones that mm -hmm. are just amazing podcasts that we need to talk about. And I've got a, a suggestion for people today. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a, a segment called Holly Pod. Mm -hmm. So it's all things entertainment. Mm -hmm. And so I've got one for you. My recommendation for this week is called Ringer Dish. Break it down. It's from the Ringer, obviously a huge network out yeah. there. Uh, but they put out great content. Great content. And so if you're celebrity obsessed, you might want to check this one out. It is by a bunch of women that work at The Ringer, and it's a rotating rotating host, mm. which is also kind of fun. I like that because it's not the same perspective right. every time. Fair. And so they come in and they're talking about anything in entertainment. They're mm. all obsessed with it. <laughs> so whenever the Oscars are on or Met Gala, they dive deep into it. But the, the women on there, they'll get on and they'll talk about their week or their weekends mm. and maybe where they've eaten. And they've eaten at like Craig's, and everyone's heard of Craig's or yeah. Catch or some of the other <laughs> all big, the Hollywood hot spots. Exactly, mm -hmm. and they'll dive into, hey, is the food actually good at one of these locations? Craig's. <laughs> <laughs> Catch is good, but you do go more so for the ambiance and for, like who you'll see. Like I went to uh, Catch for Lamorne's birthday, and Jamie Fox oh, ended let me, up hold serenading on, Let me grab him. those names no. off the floor. <laughs> hold on. Here's the names it's back that you just my life. hard dropped. It happened. <laughs> what can I say? I'm popping. <laughs> so you know, and they, they'll dive deep into all of that, and then they also you know get into the biggest stories of the week. Yeah. And if Kanye's out with a new model. They're talking about that, <laughs> and they're really giving their perspectives mm. along with just covering the news. A good and deep dive into the yeah. celebrity space. And I listen the episode that I listened to, which it was about Kanye, but it was also about Kim and Pete Davidson, and <laughs> you know why they're doing the things that they're doing. And so, it was a. It was, I love celebrity stuff. Yeah. So I listened to it. I Aww, enjoyed it. Oh, Petey. It's so funny. He's come such a long way from our days at Guy Code and Girl Code together to now. SNL. Oh, oh, and hold on. One second. Oh, my gosh. Let me, uh, hold on. Uh, oh, here you go. Life. <laughs> It. Now, God, it's just names dropping just left happens. and right. Now, you know, one day, and one day you'll be able to say, I worked with Alicia Renee. <laughs> no. oh, oh, okay, so Ringer Dish. Ringer Dish, that is the Your Holly Pod, Pod uh, recommendation for this week. We'll put a link up on podsauce.com to the episode that Dax referenced. Don't go anywhere, guys. We have so much more coming up. This is Pod Sauce. Welcome back to Pod Sauce. All right, Leash, it's your time. It's your time to shine. <laughs> it, it is my favorite part of the show. Is when it? we start battling it off, <laughs> seeing who can bring a better pick. Oh my god. So it is your turn. Let's hear your pick for this week. So uh, I sent when I sent my recommendation, my pick to Ange. Angie, as you guys know, uh, is our showrunner, producer, all things, all hands on deck, um, our right hand woman. She was like, hmm. <laughs> something so familiar about this. She hit me back with that later. And, I, and the funny thing is, when I gave it to her, there was something familiar about it, too. Couldn't quite put my finger on it. We've already had the person as a guest. She pulls me aside. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. like, Leash, I need to wrap a taste with you. And I'm like, what's up, Ange? She was like, so, this was actually Dex's done in a day. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, are you you're, freaking kidding me? You're going to present oh, my pick that I've already day. presented? What's the funny thing? But see, that just goes to show you how well you didn't add your sauce to it because I didn't mm. even remember that you're the one who did it. You tune out half the things I say anyway. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Let's get to it. So my pick is called Even 
the rich. Which was a great suggestion when I <laughs> first suggested it. You can't let me be great, huh? There's like no part of you whatsoever <laughs> that, that will just say, I'm going to let Leash make it. Not a chance. I legitimately said that to Angie. I was like, he's never going to let me let this down. Mm -hmm. Anywho, so even the rich, I did enjoy it. I listened to season three and season 15 because obviously as a card carrying member of the Beehive, Season three uh, covered Jay-Z and Beyonce's relationship, and then season 15 kind of like picked up with, it's, it's called their encore episode, where they just talk about how their music has really intertwined certain things that have uh, transpired in their lives. You know, even the rich, <laughs> I'm gonna stab you with this <laughs> pen. If I could do it and get away with it and still have a job <laughs> and not have to deal with Denise. Dax's wife, I no, would do this it. This one sounds really interesting. I will check it out. You are again. so distressing to my spirit. So it, they, you know, have different families, such as like season one was from Diana to Meghan Markle, which I love. She is our black princess, all power. And then, you know, they also cover like the Murdochs, the Hiltons. Rich people. Rich, rich people. Famous. Even the rich. Well, because they have lives too, right? I think sometimes, you know, you and I speak about this quite often about humanizing the celebrity space yeah. and just making sure that people recognize they're not people's, you know, in a zoo that you just take a look at. It's like we forget that they have ebbs and flows. They get beat up in the elevator yeah. by their in laws also. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that video. They get beat up by their in-laws also. They have issues, problems, and concerns, just like the rest of us. Yep. Even the rich have problems. So no. it, it is a good podcast that yeah. I, I, I definitely would say check out. It's fun, it's entertaining, and if you like celebrities, you like it. We have a very celebrity-centric show today. If we do. Does that mean that we're going to be celebrities one day? <laughs> Make sure you guys follow us on YouTube. We do have a visual con, con, um, a visual element of this show. Yeah. You can find us at the Pod Sauce. Make sure you subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. This is Pod Sauce. We'll be right back. Now, I am excited about our next guest because they host a podcast that kind of gives me the whole Jack Ryan, mm -hmm. Jason Bourne feel. I do have questions. Oh, I got a lot of questions. Some of these stories <laughs> are so out there that I want to be like, girl. <laughs> well, not only that, there's not like, we've been talking about this podcast yes. nonstop since we came in today because mm -hmm. we listened to it and we've been debating. Yeah. We've, there's parts of this podcast that peak both of our interests. So I'm really excited to have Sam Walker on, who is the host of American Vigilante, which is the podcast we were talking yes. about. And American Vigilante is also a podcast from the UK-based Crowd Network. And this is exciting, because we're getting someone from across the pond on. Well, actually, she's in Arizona now. Well, but right now, <laughs> but... Sam's down but the street. But the accent says <laughs> yes. UK. 1,000%. <laughs> Welcome, guys, to Pod Sauce, Sam Walker. Hi, Sam. <laughs> Hi, both of you. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Dax. Yes, can you tell that I'm not a Phoenician native, as you can tell from my accent? Just the locals <laughs> realize I'm not one of their kind quite yet. <laughs> so let's get into your podcast. And to sum it up, your podcast, American Vigilante, is about... A man who has traveled the world, saving children who have been kidnapped, basically righting the wrongs of people, and now he is telling his story on your podcast, detailing all these different events in his life, and putting it out there for the world to listen to. Is that a good sum up of your podcast? It is, and hearing the both of you in your introduction saying, hang on, I got questions, all I will say is, <laughs> welcome to my world. Um, this has been the last sort of six months of my life. I was introduced to a man who I know only as Casey. I don't know his real name. I don't know where he lives. I know very little about his background apart from the bits he has told me. There's been a few off the record bits, but generally everything you hear on the podcast is what I know. And this is a man who has said, I want to tell my story. I've been living life on the edges of the law, outside of the law, however you may want to view that, I think is again a personal decision. But I want the world now to know what I have done and what people like me are doing in America today. And we talked for 50 plus hours last year. And um, 
I still lie awake at night thinking about it quite a lot of the time. Here's the deal, Sam. I listen to numerous episodes. <laughs> Not scratching yeah. your neck like I, so Sam. <laughs> I went back and forth with deciding whether or not this guy is a a con artist of sorts and just yeah. making up these elaborate stories because he would go on and on where I'm like, no, he's just, he's watched a lot of Jason Bourne movies, Jack right. Bauer storylines and like, the things he would say about burner phones and, you know, your phones are going to be tracked. I'm like, yeah, but that's in every movie. And then his stories were so detailed that I'm like, this guy is telling the truth. Mm -hmm. I was conflicted the entire time listening to your podcast whether or not this guy is full of it. I say it again. Welcome to my yeah, world. Yeah, like she said the uh, same thing <laughs> during the podcast. Yeah, like, I think that's what so, someone needs to know yeah. going in is yeah. that is a, a half the battle of like listening to this podcast because you're like, no, like he's full of it. And then the next second you're like, no, this is legit. I wanted to say that that's exactly the journey I wanted to take the listener on. I think, you know, podcasting is such a great medium because it's so authentic, right? And it's and it's that little voice, you know, when we, we go, we listen to a podcast, we're going for a run, we're walking our dogs, we're cooking dinner, we're in the bath, wherever you might listen. It's a really personal experience. And so you can't fake it. And so I wanted to take the listener on the same journey that I went on of going, is this guy for real? It's not my job to say, hey, these, this is what I believe and you must believe the same. I felt my job in this was the audience is to say, look, I'm gonna tell you what this guy has told me. I'm gonna ask all the questions I can ask, hopefully all the questions you've thought of asking, but you've got to make your own mind up. And Dax, you know, it's very interesting what you said about him being such a great storyteller. And the thing I asked myself time and time again was, if, he's, if he wasn't such a great storyteller, would we believe him more? 50 hours of conversation. What is your thoughts? Is it real or is it fake? <laughs> you gotta listen to the podcast. <laughs> I mean, if, if you want me to tell you the ending, oh, what are you talking you, about? Are you the guy, Dax, are you the guy who turns to the last five pages of the book when you start oh, give, yeah, you absolutely. are, Absolutely, give me the Cliff Notes version. <laughs> How did you meet him, by the way, Sam? How'd you meet Casey? I was introduced to Casey by a third party. Um, when I first arrived in Arizona, she had I landlord had issues. Quite, yeah, really very bad experience oh, right. with yeah. somebody who threatened our family, and it was a really frightening time. And somebody, a friend of a friend, said to me, "Hey, I heard what happened to you and what this guy did to you, and it was, you know, uh, if if you want." say the word and someone could take him out into the desert and I'm like where have I moved to? <laughs> <laughs> I lived in this little I sleepy what <laughs> I was like, what's, what's happening <laughs> and so I knew that there was people who knew people who would you know could do things if you wanted them to be done I will say for the record I did not take him up on that offer <laughs> um, where is beware your if you're renting landlord. a house in Arizona the I'll give you his still... name yeah, don't don't rent from him. Um, <laughs> because but, he's six feet under in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> like, is he still alive, Sam? This 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 landlord. I was like, let me find out Sam is about that life because she broke that down in uh, in episode one. Do you know one. what? If only I'd known Casey before this, I don't think I would have had half the issues. But that's another story. Spectacular. But, um, but you know, this made me think. Oh, hang on. Where, so when someone else, this is nothing to do with Casey. But I was approached by someone else who said, look. I know somebody through someone else, he's willing to tell a story. I know you're a journalist, you're at the BBC for 20 years, you're now in Arizona. He would be willing perhaps to talk to you. Would you be willing to talk to him? So that is how it began. So the person who referred me to him was nothing to do with the issues that I had, but I suppose it gave some level of veracity to start with because I didn't think, what, of course these people don't exist. I'm from Britain, what are you talking about? <laughs> it made me go, because it's funny because I've had, got a lot of American friends who were like, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Of course guys like him are out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people, people in England are like, what? Is this the Wild West? And I'm like, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, it, you know, that's what's been very different as well. And people's responses to it are pretty much down the middle of, he's an American hero, I love him, I, I wish he was my friend, I'm glad he's out there, to people, and they are always men, sorry Dax, but sending me detailed, detailed series of tweets about why I'm a, an idiot and why I can't believe a word he said because they know someone who was in the military and it never would have happened like that and all this sort of thing. So it's been triggering, I think, for a lot of people. Now, Sam, this is a podcast discovery show. Uh, what are some podcasts that you're listening to right now that you can put our uh, listeners onto? 
Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I spend my whole life making podcasts and presenting podcasts. And so I sometimes think, uh, you know, I, I never have time to listen to a whole bunch of podcasts, <laughs> but I definitely have some go to's. I mean, I make another podcast called Sam Walker's Desert Diaries, which is what it's like for a woman in her 40s to quit her job at the BBC, leave her nice suburban Victorian terrace in rainy England and move to the desert and the Wild West. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, scorpions yes. and you know, crazed gun-wielding landlords. It is the Wild West. So, you know, well, former gun-wielding <laughs> landlords now six feet under in this desert. <laughs> They're alive. Uh, <laughs> They're alive. <laughs> But you know, some I mean, I loved I loved the dropout. I'm sure so many people have mentioned oh, that. Oh, that was a I, good you know, one. Just listening to you know Elizabeth Holmes, the whole trial with um, Theranos was just mind blowing, and that was my. I looked forward to getting my kids from school every day because I was like, I'm going to catch up. So that was great. Two that I really love. One is one is really different actually. It's called How Did We Get Here, and it's a podcast with Professor Tanya Byram, who's a clinical psychologist and a quite famous UK TV presenter called Claudia Winkleman. They're very close friends in real life. Professor Tanya Byram is an incredible therapist, psychologist, and it's people who come to them and it's kind of about an hour long and it's a, it's a real deep dive into why we have the relationships we do. So perhaps someone will come who hasn't spoken to their parents for 10 years, has fallen out with their brother, their marriage is falling apart, they can't connect with their child. I mean, so many different types of relationships. And then you basically hear a therapy session and it is fascinating and you engage with these people instantly and even if you don't have a sibling that you haven't talked to for 10 years just hearing about how we can speak to each other and communicate better as humans i i love that podcast so sam amazing I've, sam i've got a recommendation for you if you're into the therapy stuff yeah where do we begin with esther perel mm -hmm. have you heard of it i have heard of it it is yes. so good mm -hmm. it's people okay. You know, you are the fly in the wall in that therapy session, and it's people who are having problems in their marriage, there's cheating, there's, you know, I, I want to try different things. I mean, you're listening to it all, and she's giving them advice. It is such a good podcast. So if you're into therapy, check out it. Where Should We Begin with Esther Pro. I love it. I will do that. And and my, the second one I really wanted to recommend is, is a, a British comedian and writer called Adam Buxton. And um, I mean, again, he was kind of of my generation. He was a real kind of into indie music. He had this kind of irreverent comedy show in the 90s and noughties. And he makes this podcast now and he essentially goes for a walk with his dog around the countryside <laughs> of England, kind of riffs and then speaks to somebody. And it, it, you might think another interview podcast. And it kind of is, but he's so creative and he's got that really silly British sense of humor. And do you know what? Sometimes in Arizona, if things get a bit heavy, like crazed landlords, it makes me feel kind of closer to home in a strange way. But he, you know, he talks to a bunch of other comedians like Kay Van Novak and Natasha Dimitri, you know, who are um, what we do in the shadows. He's, you know, from that show. But he speaks to kind of storytellers like David Sedaris and Isabella Allende. So people I'd, I kind of wouldn't think I must listen to an interview with them. The way you he talks to people in a really open way i just adore and he did paul mccartney and i'm the world's biggest beatles nut so that i've listened to that episode 45 times what, what was the name of that podcast again one so more it's time. called the adam buxton podcast and there are silly jingles and childish songs and things you might think what the heck was that about but at the heart of it is these really honest conversations. And I've cried with laughter on several times because they've been so stupid. He's really childish and I, <laughs> and I love it, but he's super smart. So it kind of ticks all the boxes to me. So I love that. I love it. Well, Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Uh, and, and guys, if you have not checked out American Vigilante, head on over to podsauce.com. We have a link there directly to her podcast. It is so good. Yeah. No, mostly because you're fighting yourself to decide whether or not it's real or not. Sam, thank you so much for joining us. Lovely to meet you. Take care. Lovely. I love that. I'm going to say <laughs> that. So lovely to meet you. <laughs> Guys, don't go anywhere. We have more. This is Pot Sauce. Welcome back to Pod Sauce. I'm Dax Holt. I am Alicia Renee. This is your podcast discovery show. Well, everyone loves true crime. Yeah. And this is your specialty on this show. Ugh. So let's dive in. I know you got a great recommendation this I week. Do. You've been talking about it. I do. I've been like sitting over here on pins and needles wanting to get in there and get it to you guys. But this is my murder most foul. A true crime podcast pick. <laughs>
just for all of you guys. This is called The Root of Evil, the story of the Hoddle family and the Black Dahlia murder. Now, as, to, you know, as an actor, someone who lives in L.A., I'm extremely familiar with the Black Dahlia murder, as are a lot of people out there. What I found to be super interesting about this particular podcast, Dax, also might I add, it's such a fascinating story and a good story that TNT adapted it into a series, mm -hmm. you know, uh, starring Chris Pine, directed by Patty Jenkins, just to give some credentials there. But this story follows the Hoddle family as they trace back from their mother, the two hosts of this show. Their mother was adopted oh, wow. by a different family. Imagine your family being so screwed up in the, in the 40s and 50s as a white family that you decide to give your child up for adoption and pass them off as half black. You know, and so as they do more research on their mother's lineage, they find out that their mother, her grandfather, is Dr. George Hoddle, who was one of who was the number one suspect to have committed the Black Dahlia crime. Wow, that's crazy. That's a crazy connection, and to have them as the hosts of this yeah. is really cool. You thought your family union was screwed up, <laughs> honey? <laughs> Honey, you got nothing <laughs> on this family. What I also found to be so interesting is that uh, the lead detective on this case, it's his father that he's actually investigating. And he's like, no, I know my dad did it. The family oh. has heard so many different stories passed down, as we all do. And so as they come together to investigate what's true and what's not, they find out that it's highly plausible that their father, Dr. George Hoddle, is the doctor who committed this crime. It's wow. such a such a phenomenal well, podcast. We will put up a link on podsauce.com. Yeah. What's the name of it again? It's called The Root of Evil. The Root of um, Evil. Yeah, the story of the Hoddle family and the Black Dahlia. So make sure you head on over to podsauce.com. The link will be there. You guys yeah. can check out this pod podcast it's so as good. well as you know we are on Twitter Facebook Instagram all of the social medias all at the, the pod sauce make sure you check us out on YouTube like subscribe all that kind of fun stuff and you can find me at Dax Holt and you can find me at I am Alicia Renee and until next time thank you all so much for joining us this is pod sauce be good to yourself thank you I forgot that <laughs>